Welp, morning. It's Sunday. Um, <laughs> I was going to tell this story about um, we've got this old ranch out in the country and uh, we've had it in our family for over 150 years. And there's this one corner of fence that is the old, old school fence. It's slick wire with a few super old and very brittle <laughs> um, steel barbed wire. I should have taken a picture of it and shown it to everybody. It's kind of neat. Uh, but I knew, I knew this corner needed to be addressed. We had a whole mile of, of new fence put in. And at the time I thought, nah, this, it'll, it'll be okay. And it's also on the river. So whenever it floods, uh, the debris gets up on that fence and breaks it. So this one corner, man, them cows won't ever go over there. <laughs> well, what happened uh, last night at no, Friday night, at, of course, it always happens in the middle of the night. The neighbor calls, the sheriff calls first, and then the neighbor says, hey, these cows are over here in our property, and we don't want them here. <laughs> so uh, I went out yesterday and uh, went out to that fence, and I spent the entire day in 100-degree heat working on this fence. And I was thinking about you guys and all my practice owners as I was doing this because this is it's probably one of the uh, age old <laughs> business analogies with being a practice owner or being a business owner is the fact that you are every day prioritizing things you have to work with, but you always know in the back of your head there's that one thing or five things that you know you're not addressing that you should be addressing but you either deprioritize it or you procrastinate on it. And in my case, <laughs> because we've had so much 100 degree heat here for the past summer, uh, it was just like I'm prioritizing my, my personal health <laughs> and patience to not go over there and work on that, that fence. Well, the cat, thanks to the cattle, uh, we had to go fix it. And uh, of course, I was by myself and went out there and spent Saturday uh, to pull, pulling the old fence out and putting a new new piece in. Is it perfect? No, but it'll hold until I can get a legit <laughs> fence guy out there to put rebuild that part of it. But the uh, the conversation I kept having uh, with myself and the river and uh, the sun <laughs> was uh, in business, we have to challenge ourselves to reprioritize uh, the things that are causing us the most anxiety, but we're putting them off into the future and or hopefully putting them off to the near future versus the far future. The interest in the work we do is that this is a, a risk that business owners face in terms of there are things in your practice that are happening. Uh, every day that you're focused on, but there's also this whole pile of things that you're not focused on that can present risk. And in the work we do in risk management and the work we do with Dundesk, it's this fact that uh, latent risk in your practice is omnipresent. It's always there. And so you have to have real strategies to manage this. The problem is you don't have capacity and time and attention to address all these things. So uh, that's why we exist. <laughs> that's why we built on desk to help manage all of that. But the first, you know, find to have a technology that is uh, capable of supporting you in that regard. But it, it comes down to the fact of like, how are you preparing yourself as a leader in your practice to set your week up properly to ensure that you have a successful week? More importantly, you have an effective week. And at, when you leave on Friday, you leave that work at work, you don't take it home in uh, into your weekend. So some would say don't work on Sundays, and I agree with that. I like don't like to work on Sundays, but it's also a good time to kind of think about your work week, spend 15 to 20 minutes and say, okay, what needs to be the priority this week? What do I need to get done? And, and don't have the anxiety of the Monday pile in on you. Worse yet, don't do anything until Monday morning. And at that point you have your day on you already with your patients and your people and all of that. And you're not, you don't get this time to focus on it. So I put together uh, a worksheet. It'll be in, uh, since this is streamed to multiple, multiple different venues, it'll be in our Facebook group called dental group. If uh, you find that it's a, um, got 2,300 people in that group now. This is where that document will be. We'll also put this in Dundesk in the Dundesk document library as well. So if you're a Dundesk subscriber. So I just want to run through these real quick. So on a Sunday, just get a, get a time, get a cup of coffee, 
maybe uh, uh, go outside, do this at, at out of the park. I don't know. Uh, review and plan your schedule. So look ahead of the week. Start by reviewing your personal upcoming tasks and your team tasks that you haven't done desk. Ensure that your team is ready to complete those tasks and then watch your dashboard for task completions. We also want to identify any high priority appointments that we have for the day as far as our patients go, uh, complex procedures, uh, look for a emergency avoidance and make sure you have the right equipment in play, just looking over your schedule in that regard. And then also plan your own schedule for the week as far as admin tasks, meetings, and patient consults that you'll have to have. Then now move to team coordination and start thinking about, okay, is my team ready to be effective in the practice? Prepare and communicate with your dental team to discuss the week's priorities and expectations and plan your huddle communications for what you're going to do uh, in those conversations with your people. Uh, don't, you know, some people just get around and talk. I say, hey, let's have a real meeting and understand what the priorities are and plan to review with the team all of the assigned tasks in Dundesk. So Dundesk will say, to your uh, say to you on the dashboard like how well did everyone do last week look and see the deficiencies and address people's behavior uh, as far as not getting their tasks done so if tasks aren't getting done then that means risk is building in your practice and so we want to address it now versus be forced to address it when the cows jump the fence and you got to go do it in the middle of the night <laughs> uh, financial and administrative tasks take time to review your practice financials look at where you're at against your goals have your reporting kick out to you on Sunday. So when that report comes to you, when you do this planning session, you can have that report at the point of sale versus trying to chase that stuff down just to look at where you are from a financial perspective. And that'll also help you talk to your team as well. If you have uh, production goals and things you're working on, that'll go back into your team, uh, team talks, and your huddles. Uh, then also look at your schedule for the week as far as your people go, just to make sure no one's out on vacation, PTO, whatever it is. And so you can have a mental state of we're going to have to accommodate uh, challenges as far as staff goes. Uh, last, last one, continuing education and strategic planning. So you want to look at short and long-term goals, how well you're doing, but you also want to look at uh, maybe uh, learning deficiencies and get that time in your schedule over the next several weeks to bring that competency into your practice and study it so you can have uh, continual development, not only for yourself as the practitioner, but also for your employees. So plan, plan development into your weeks so you can have that time, budget that time and, and continually improve your team as you go. And then uh, kind of a bonus step, which I didn't talk about. Of course, I was out exercising all day yesterday, hauling T-posts around and dragging barbed wire and running through the brush. You got to take care of yourself and develop work-life balance. I know we're talking about work on a Sunday. I'm talking about 20 minutes of your Sunday to sit down and look over this and then put this, put this aside, stick it in your, in Dundesk for the, for the, in the document library for review on Monday with your team. And then you go outside, be with your family, relax, get that mental break you need from, uh, from the Monday that's about to come, the week that's about to come, but go into that knowing that, hey, I've got my week planned. The week I'm going to happen to the week, the week isn't going to happen to me. So, uh, okay, I'll let you go now. That's just eight minutes, eight and a half minutes. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. Appreciate you guys. Let's have a good week this week. Talk to you.